Hallelujah. Turn to the person standing closest to you and say, this is the assembly of mighty visionaries. Ah, it's like you don't understand it. Say to another person, here we think big. Here we plan big. Here we expect big. Now say to another person, think big. Plan big. Expect big. Yes, that's what your father is asking you to do. I've been sent this morning to ask you, what are you asking for this season? I've been asked to ask you, what is your overflow? Because your overflow can be a may trickle to another person. Your father is saying, what are you speaking into my ears? Because the very thing I hear you speak into my ears, that is what I am going to do to you. So what is your overflow? What are you asking for this season? Because you know what your father is planning? He said, I'm going to give you nations. I'm going to give you nations as your possession and the ends of the earth as your inheritance. Let's go to Psalms 2 verse 7 to 8. You are going to read it because it's the words of your father. They are the words of your father to you. Let's do it together. I will declare the decree. The Lord has said to me, you are my son. Today, I have begotten you. The next one, ask of me and I will give you the nations for your inheritance and the ends of the earth for your possessions. He's interested in giving you the nations. I hope you have not asked for toothpaste. If you have, come and take it back. If you have asked for toothpick, come take it back. Because he asked me to ask you, what are you speaking into my ears? What is your overflow? May your overflow not be a may trickle. You cannot ask for three souls. Ask for the impossible. Reach out for the impossible. Your father is thinking about the globe. He's thinking about nations. He's thinking about the ends of the earth. You cannot ask for a little wife or a little husband. You are forbidden. Ask for strategic kingdom partnerships. You cannot come here and ask for toothpaste. You say, ask of me. What an open check. It doesn't matter what you have gone through. It doesn't matter what your previous experiences have been. It doesn't matter how many times you've been disappointed. It doesn't matter how dark where you are maybe right now. Your father says what? Ask. It's an open check. May you not ask for toothpaste. So put on your God lenses. Remember that you are begotten of God. You are a child of God. So, and see clearly because before the first negative thing ever happened to you, before the world shaped your perspective, before anything made you as the eagle to begin to think like a chick, before as a lion you begin to walk as a goat, before anything distorted that original you, you were already begotten. So lean back into your nature as the son of God. Drop the lenses that circumstances, that depression, that poverty has given you. Drop the lenses that people have given you. Drop the lenses that humanity has given you. Drop all those lenses and pick up your God lens. And see clearly. Because this overflow is going to be very personal. As well as general. But if you ask for toothpaste, your, your overflow will be a trickle. That's what you've spoken into his ears. This is your kairos. You have to walk away from the conditioning of the earth. Walk away from the conditioning of marriage. Walk away from the conditioning, the negative conditioning. And lean into your God's nature and ask for the nations. You remember what God said to Abraham? He's still saying to us, as far as your eyes can see. May you not look, may you not see through the eyes of poverty. May you not ask looking through the lenses of depression. May you not ask looking through the lenses of luck. May you not ask looking through the lenses of the economy. You belong to a different government. And your father says, I should come and tell you, think big. Plan big. Expect big. Think like your father. My mother used to say, think 
like your father. How does your father think? The Bible shows us how he thinks. In sending out disciples, Jesus did not say preach in Nazareth and maybe Galilee. He said, be my witnesses in Jerusalem and in all Judea and Samaria and to the ends of the earth. That's how your father thinks. The God of all the earth is your own father. His focus is the whole world. Even when he was loving, he did not say, and God so loved the church. And God so loved his 12. And God so loved the disciples. Said, and God so loved the world. You are begotten of the God of all the earth. And today he has one word for you. Think big. Plan big. Expect big. Otherwise your overflow will be a metrical. So take the limit off your asking. It's time to redefine it. If what you wrote does not sound like the ends of the earth, come take it back and rewrite. If what you are praying for does not sound, does not sound like the nations, pause the prayer and dream again. If whatever it is you are doing right now is small, it says don't think small, you will not be disappointed. It said make your tent bigger, you will not be embarrassed. Open your doors wide. That's what it says in Isaiah 52. What is coming into that open door is not shame. What is coming to you is going to be glorious. What is coming to you is going to be beautiful. What is coming to you is going to be extraordinary. What is coming to you is super abundance. What is coming to you is going to be life transforming. So take the limits of your asking and see God. See life. See your marriage. See your children. Through the lenses of God. It is time to redefine your overflow. Stand up and say this with me. I am the son of God. I am taking the limit of my asking. No, you don't get it. Say, I am the son of God. I take the limit of my asking. I take the limit of my thinking. I take the limit of my planning. I take the limit off my expectations. I am spreading out. I am dreaming big. I am stretching out. Say, I am seeing my life through the eyes of God. Say, I'm seeing my business through the eyes of God. I am thinking big. Planning big. And expecting big. I reject smallness of any kind. I am going global. That is somebody's word. You can hold on to it. Say, I am going global. I am not local. I am not insignificant. I am not irrelevant. I am going global. Say, this year, this year, I am not only expecting great things from God. I am also embarking on great things for God. Kaya Bozukaya. Say, I rise beyond every limit. Kaya Bozukaya. Imposed on me by life circumstances. I am not holding back. I rise in strength and overcome every crippling fear. I am stepping out with audacious vision. I refuse to be meager. I am reaching out beyond the familiar. I am boldly venturing into the unknown. I take the limit of my thinking. I take the limit of my expectations. I am enlarging the place of my tent. I am lengthening my court. I am straightening my steps. My overflow cannot be a metrical. I refuse to see through the glasses of depression and poverty. I see as my father sees. This whole world is my oyster. I am the God begotten. My father is the God of all the earth. I am expanding to the left. And I'm expanding to the right. My descendant will inherit the nations. I will no longer live in shame. There is no more disgrace for me. Yes, you can say that with boldness. There is no more disgrace for me.
There is no more shame for me. There is no more emergency for me. There is no more bad news for me. There is no more bad pity party for me. There is no more dishonor for me. You keep speaking with your own words. There is no more crisis for me. There is no more disaster for me. There is no more calamity for me. There is no more difficulty for me. I cannot be limited. I take the limit of my planning. I take the limit of my asking. I take the limit of my thinking. I take the limit of my expectation. There is no more shame for me. I am going global. I cannot be limited. I press through every gender limitation. I press through every societal limitation. I break through every human limitation. I break through every personal limitation. I am going global. I am going to Brade Kaya. They come to Brade Kaya. Let's go, 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 let's go